Hi everyone, Josie Games here, bringing you another Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 gameplay walkthrough. So, as you can probably tell from the video and the title, um, I lost my park. So, um, between what I had done last time or last episode and this episode, I could not find anywhere where I had the uh, where I saved the. The game file uh, there was no backup nothing seemed to be corrupted or anything uh, it just did not appear in my search or in my saved files so um, I'm assuming that just last time I completely forgot to save the file before I closed it that is the only logical explanation I could come up with but I also could not believe that I did that to myself so I don't know what's happened, but um, that is my best uh, explanation. You're probably also wondering why I'm doing a faster or a uh, time-lapse video today, and that is because I also had an audio issue in the recording of the last episode. So um, I went to go play back the video and edit, and I realized that I... Um, I don't know what exactly happened, but my voice kept cutting in and out. So I maybe I was too far away from the mic, or I wasn't talking loud enough. I I don't know what it was, but it was jumping in and out all over the video. So I have had to do a sort of uh, time lapse commentary format. Uh, I've done it a couple of times, and hopefully it works just as well for the sandbox mode. Um, even though the sandbox mode and uh, walkthrough was supposed to be a bit more of a long a long format long video format um, but hopefully this one does the job it, it's going to have to because uh, this is all that I can do uh, I could probably try and talk for an hour over uh, the previous video but I don't like my chances doing that so I have just sped it up for the sake um, of time and effort and viewing pleasure so I'm not constantly stumbling over myself trying to remember what I did. Um, anyway, on to the video. So as you can see, um, as part of my new adventure area, I um, built a little waterfall. Uh, so I was a bit more inspired to put the roller coaster a little bit more central to the adventure area. And I really wanted to um, build a roller coaster around it pretty much. So uh, that is what you're seeing in the background here. Um, I also found that the looping coaster is quite a good and versatile roller coaster to build with. Um, it has, obviously you can see there, the steep chain lift. And it also has a number of uh, really good and handy uh, building or track, track types. So. Uh, you'll see here as I muck around and build this roller coaster that I was it was actually I was very impressed with how this roller coaster turned out there was a lot of times where I would try something like experiment with it and then it just happened to work absolutely perfectly um, every time so uh, you, you should see a bit of that going on um, as I'm building this roller coaster um, so as you can see there, using the quarter loop, um, pulling up just short, or not just short, but as you can see in the bottom left there, I managed to get the uh, steep hill incline without damaging or, you know, moving any land, which I've just done there um, on screen. Um, but as you can see, I've, you know, used twists and loops and all sorts of uh, different track types already so it's a very versatile coaster type uh, obviously I'm aiming to have uh, a different roller coaster type throughout the whole um, scenario as in I don't want to be using the same type more than once I'll do a different roller coaster type for every single roller coaster in the park and I also learned my lesson last time um, 
to not use the flying coaster as that was a terrible roller coaster statistically speaking it was not what I needed and not what I was looking for uh, as you can see as I'm pulling up here finishing off that roller coaster uh, it finished perfectly right into the queue using an S bend so it clearly not clearly but it's a bit hard when sped up but there was a couple of moments there where I thought will I get will this park work or will this coaster work and it just so happened to work perfectly every time so I was very happy with how that roller coaster turned out uh, the stats I think it flashed up earlier I'm not quite sure but in the end the statistics were 7.8 intensity I believe and um, I think it was 7.2 excitement so really good really good excitement a uh, bit intense for my liking but I think the guests will really enjoy it either way so as you can see here oh I can't remember what I was doing here I think I was trying to fix up the uh, waterfall a bit and I think I was also trying to create delineations in the park between the, the next area uh, I know a viewer or one of you had said you want a spooky section and I definitely have that on the cards it's it's definitely what I'm looking to do um, I think I zoom out here any moment and I and I remember explaining what I was going to do for each area of the park I sort of went on a bit of a tangent for five or ten minutes where I started um, talking about each different area of the park that I was going to build up with a certain theme um, I'm obviously not on that now uh, but I'll come back to that so for this little structure here I think I did it in the last video as well where I sort of built a little bamboo shack around the start of the roller coaster for that episode as well uh, I've done the same thing here but I sort of tried to make it look like a almost like a deck to a bar or a pub depending on where you're from uh, so you know it's a tropical theme obviously so I was sort of building it thinking about having a few beers or spirits or whatever you're into on the deck there looking back towards the water park so a bit of a bit of a water view I suppose you could say uh, not a great one actually I don't even think that that's looking back at the pool so I'm talking rubbish that's looking at nothing probably the edge of the park so hopefully I'll put something entertaining in there to look at uh, or, or else this building structure was a complete waste of time not that the guests can um, access it anyway but you know what I mean in theory that is what I was going for there so yeah I obviously enjoy the whole point of this sandbox was to show my creativity not just grinding out campaigns and and showing quick and efficient ways to finish off scenarios so i was able to take my time um again on this park and yeah it also makes it a little bit more enjoyable i'm not worried about finishing the video or completing the the objective in a in a timely manner uh it's uh yeah it's it's a lot more enjoyable doing videos this way so this is where I was talking about which areas I want to do so in that back corner I'll probably do spooky um, over there where that dirt is will be the western and then over in the middle I'll probably do a general area just a generic you know standard park and then maybe in that back corner I'll do a sci-fi type area so look forward to that in the next couple of videos or the, the towards the end of uh, this park it's obviously a few episodes away as it looks like I'm averaging if I don't corrupt my files or don't forget to save my files which I think is exactly what happened but I'll just pretend that the file corrupted or the game corrupted and didn't save it but I'm almost certain that it was an error on my end but anyway we'll leave it at that um, yeah I'm probably averaging around two 
episodes per area. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen here. Maybe one and a half, depending on how big the area is. And I was also thinking after, not this episode, but the episode before, that I'll probably have to do a bit of park tidy up. Uh, I probably won't commentate through that as it'll be a pretty boring scenario. Um, not scenario, situation, not even that. But it'll be a boring video either way. Um, so I'll probably not talk through it. I'll just probably put on a bit of music in the background and then just time lapse it like I'm doing here, but a bit quicker just for park tidy up. And that was mostly because the last scenario, I wasn't very, I wasn't very happy with how it turned out. It wasn't bad, but I just wasn't super happy with how it turned out. So me forgetting to, to save this file or it corrupting, wink, wink, um, it's, yeah, probably a blessing in disguise there. So, um, yeah, I was able to redo the park in a different way and in a way that I was probably a little bit more happy with how it turned out. So, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't all bad is what I'm trying to get at here. Um, so, I think from memory that was all the rides that I put in. Um, oh, that's right. I was putting in the... Uh, base. I actually really enjoyed the pirate fort or the little fortress that I made. So I'm definitely bringing back that in the next episode. I didn't quite have the time in this episode to sort that out, but I'll definitely do it in the next episode or I may even do it off screen just so it's done. You know, you don't have to sit there and watch me build a fortress for 15 minutes as, um, it took me quite a while just to do the waterfall here. So, um, yeah, the time lapsing is probably a blessing in the skies as well. So, you know, make the best of a bad situation and roll with it. <clears throat> so here I'm obviously trying to fill in the rest of the park with some extra scenery, make it look a little bit more realistic. And one of my favorite things to do is actually to bury boulders into the ground. I just reckon it makes... It gives the hills especially a bit more of a natural look. Um, these ones stick out a little bit as the, it's probably a bit too contrasting with the colours that I used for the landscape there. But once you dump a few trees and bushes around it, I think it tidies up quite nicely. So I think that's it in terms of rides for this scenario. Um, I'm pretty sure I just spend the rest of the time dropping down um, palms and plants and mostly palms obviously because we're still in the adventure sandy area which you know you would think a lot of palms would grow uh, so yeah I think I think I'll leave it at that um, yeah so pretty much I hope you enjoyed uh, let me know if you enjoyed the short format I probably won't do it very often unless uh, situations like this occur which Hopefully, I'm aware of now, and they won't occur, but, you know, in the future, any audio or technical issues slash errors on my behalf, um, I'll have obviously have to rely on doing these formats, but I would much prefer to do the long, drawn-out ones where I just chat away for an hour. I find it, you know, quite soothing and easy to do, but if you like, if you like the format that we're in, at the moment uh, let me know either way um, if it's easy for you guys to watch then I'll do that um, but I do not mind either way so yeah I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one I suppose cheers